Good morning. Finally, we get to the part where we get to decorate. We're going to be drawing in our subject in the middle of the cartouche, and then we're going to wood burn it. Here we go. Next part, the design. So what I want to do is I want to sketch in my design, and there are a couple different ways to do this. One way is you can trace it onto carbon paper and then draw on the carbon paper to transfer your design onto your gourd. Another way is Wellburn sells some um, stick and burn, I think it's called. You can actually trace your design on it and then put it on the gourd and then burn through it. I've heard of some people using cling wrap type products, like sticky saran wrap stuff. I'm not so sure about doing that because when you burn it, you know, that's a plastic and not sure how you know that would go or you could just freehand your design the really great thing now with a lot of people having laptops is if you need to shrink or expand your design you can simply do it on the screen of your laptop and then set over top of it whatever it is that you want to draw like I could zoom in on something on my laptop trace it on a piece of paper cut it out and then use that as a stencil to put it here or freehand, whichever one. Haven't decided which I want to do, and I haven't decided. I'm using a bunch of photos that I took when I was in Paisley, Florida at a gourd retreat. Sandhill cranes were as close to me as you are right now. It was absolutely amazing. I could see everything there. Their beaks, their eyes, everything, and I got a lot of really good close-up shots, a lot of good full body shots, and I think I want to replicate a series of those on these gourd. We have sandhill cranes around here, and every year they have babies in the baby Babies are just, you know, they're not cute. <laughs> when they're really small, they're cute. And then they become gawky teenagers and then they grow up. So I might do Mother with Chicks. I haven't quite decided what I want to do. So I'm just going to look at the shape of the gourd and then decide what I want to draw on it. If I want them down where I can get more of the red on their head or if I want them standing. They have such a distinct look, such a long profile. I think I'm going to quit talking about it and just look at these three and decide. I've got all three gourds here and I need to decide which one is going to have which scene on it. So I've got one, two, three. And I think I'll do, it's either a one or a three, right? This one with the one brain. I'm just going to sketch it in pretty quickly. They have a really, really big body and really long legs. But you don't want to accidentally have it look like a flamingo, right? And then I have to look at how far after the curve does the head, is the head actually red? All right, so I've got something. Wow, <laughs> you can't see this at all. <laughs> so I've got them sketched right here, but you can't see it. <laughs> you could just see it. So I've sketched out the one there. Not sure if I want to put, I might put a, a chick right here. And uh, I'm just going to draw on the other three as well. Wow, you can't see that at all. Okay, so I've, I've, I've freehand, I've drawn it in, and then I'm going to wood burn it. All right, <laughs> time to burn. <laughs> okay, I've got them all drawn, and I'm just going to outline. And then I'll fill in some details. I'm going to work a little bit of grass in some of these. And I'm just going to do some wood burning. The important part is the beak, right? To get the beak correct. Start with the little guy first with his little legs and his little knobby knees. Knobby knees. Okay, now you can see the baby and the mama. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to do the wood burning on the other two. I hope you're loving this project as much as I am. Our next step is going to be to cut the top off so that we can finalize what the shape, what the design, all of the elements, how everything is going to look. So please join me in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And I've got links below to any of the tools that we've used so far. See you in the next one. Bye.